This is Honey Bun. We call her Bun Bun. This is our cat. She just had a trip to the vet. She's a little Persian cat. She's wondering what in the world is going on in here. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Was her, you, you've got a video to shoot on a Volvo. Why don't I put I her I thought away? they would like to see her. Well, she is cute and all, but, you know, I think she she is interested in the car more than she is you guys. I'm so sorry. Look at her. She's like in the Volvo. Yeah, she got hair all over me. Yeah, she is shedding a little bit. She's a little nervous, but isn't she great, guys? Let me put her away. So enough of the cute little cat. She is very cute, but it, we're going to talk about this cat. We're going to get this on the lift and take a look at it. This is a 2016 Volvo XC90. It is in very nice condition. It's awesome. Let's get it moved over to the lift right after this. So you guys can hear it running, you can hear a slight exhaust leak, that's one of the things we're going to look for today. In order to get it on the lift, I have to have it in neutral with the engine running because if I turn it off, it won't let me turn it off. It says, no, dummy, you need to put it in park or you don't get to turn off the car. So that's what I got to do, get it on the lift and then I can put it in park and turn it off. So I'll do that real quick. As you've just seen, most modern cars, especially that have electronic shifters or a lot of electronics in them, they don't like for you to have it neutral and turn the key off. Some of the cars that have fully electronic shifting, even if you have it in neutral, if you turn the key off, it automatically goes to park. And I don't really have a problem with that. It's a little bit more of a hassle, but I've learned to deal with it and I know what I need to do to get it on the lift. But my mentor where I used to work, he was in his 60s, he was a 30 year Chrysler Master Tech, and he was kind of one of the old school guys, and that just really used to piss him off. He'd put, he had pliers that he always had in his pocket, he'd take them out, throw them on the ground, and just walk off. He'd come back about 10 minutes later, he would cool down, and then he would okay. I'll, he, he felt that car companies were controlling him, and I don't know, I don't see it that way. It's just technology. Get it on the lift and get it up. This really nice Volvo is Euro-Asian Bob's. Any of the cars that he buys and gets a hold of his inventory, he likes to have them gone through and fixed up and ready for sale before he puts them on the lot. He doesn't put stuff on the lot that has stuff needing work. So that's what we're going to do today. He has a few complaints. We're going to do an inspection on this vehicle and see what's actually going to need to be fixed before it's put on the lot. And it lets you guys check out this beautiful XC90. It's really nice. Let's take a look under the hood and then we'll raise it up. This is a new enough vehicle and it's in such good shape. There's really not a lot to see under here. It is the two liter four cylinder turbocharged. Somebody left a... Oh yes! It's pineapple Mrs. Wizard. Pineapple. Mmm. It's nice of Bob. Thanks, Bob. It's pretty hot in here. But as you can see, if you look under the hood, everything looks new still. This car is pretty much in new shape, but it has a few issues that he liked looked at. One of them is the exhaust noise. You guys probably heard it when it first started. Kind of a buzzing exhaust noise. He's got a wheel bearing concern. He has a front right brake caliper concern and some other issues. He just wants a full check over and just check the whole thing over. He wants the thing ready for sale. He wants the customer to be able to drive off with confidence. That's why it's here. So let's go ahead and get this thing raised up. And let's see, if let's check the front end. He mentioned the brakes right here were making a weird noise. Let 
nothing loose there. I think it just needs a new set of pads. It looks real rusty right in through here like the the pads are sticking. When he goes to hit the brake it makes a pop. I kind of felt it when I drove it in. We'll take that apart and look at it. I don't think it's going to be anything serious going on there. Nothing's loose. It's got brand new tires. He just had those put on. Not even 30 miles on them. Check the sway bar link. That's nice and tight. No leaks from the struts. We'll go check the other side. Probably a set of pads over here too. Sway bar links tight, nothing leaking from the strut. I don't see much going on with the suspension here. Everything looks good. We'll take a peek through the little holes. I don't know if you guys will be able to see in there with the camera. But that's what I do is peek through the holes and I can look for any drips or leaks. Anything like that. You can see the oil drain plug there. Somebody has recently changed the oil. Don't see much else going on, no leaks. We'll come back here and we can see the, the back side of the engine. We can see the front drive shaft. I'll take a peek in there here and see if I see anything that could be leaking exhaust wise. I don't see anything just right off bat, but it's very likely just an exhaust gasket that's leaking. We'll get that taken care of for him. Check this dry shaft out. It's in good shape. Everything feels good there. Wow, it looks brand new under here. It's all shiny and clean. It's sparkly. This thing's like in new condition. Look at these baby little CV shafts. Little tiny little things. Now that's a control arm. Big boy. Check the sweep bar link. Nice and tight. Nothing loose there. Brake pads look good over here. Nothing leaking from the shock. That's good. We'll check over here. Brakes are okay here. I don't see anything loose. I'll have to go drive it and check the wheel bearing noise. I'm not seeing anything right off hand. I got Magic Mike up in the driver's seat. He's letting it coast about 20, 30 miles an hour. I'm gonna use to listen for the wheel bearing noise. These little rabbit ears. On this side, I'm hearing something weird going on with the brakes. That might be the brake issue he was talking about. And on this side, I hear a wheel bearing noise very slightly. And I imagine under a load with the weight on it, it would be louder. So we'll definitely inspect that one. And while it's running, let's see if we can find that exhaust leak. This Volvo is pretty nice, isn't it, Magic Mike? Oh, it's perfect. It's a very, very nice car. You saw when we had it in the air and I had him driving it. That's not something you'd want to do on jack stands because this is all-wheel drive. If you tried to hear the front end, maybe a noise up front and put it in drive, it would just drive off, drive itself off the jack stands and on top of you. They definitely don't want to do this just on two jack stands. You could do it on all four, but even that's kind of dangerous. It really needs to be on a lift while you're checking out this type of an issue. When we get these few little things fixed up, this thing will be perfect, won't it? Oh yeah. A very nice ride. In the rear, we were able to discover that the driver's side rear has a possible wheel bearing issue. We actually used this little tool. It's like a doctor's stethoscope. 
with a solid metal rod at the end. The same principle in the movies when they put their ear on a railroad track and they can actually hear the train off in the distance by listening to the vibrations through the metal. It's the same scenario here. You don't use this on the moving part so you'll end up with a blown eardrum. You set this on the housing that the bearing rolls into you can actually hear it. You shouldn't hear anything hardly at all but if you hear like a roaring like then you know you've got a bad wheel bearing going on. So that's a very handy tool. I use it quite a bit. It's in my Amazon affiliates link in the description below. We also found an exhaust leak which is a flange gasket. We'll get that taken care of. And for 93,000 miles this thing is really like new. We saw underneath that there really wasn't any other issues to speak of. Most of the suspension components were still shiny like new. So this car has been very well taken care of. It just needs a few issues addressed before it heads out to the lot and ready for sale. Let's quick take a look at the interior and let you guys peek at that. The interior of this car is really, really nice. And Volvos are known for nice interiors. It smells really nice in here and the colorations with the contrast of black with the tan or the camel color is very, very appealing. You can definitely tell that this car has all the technology advanced features in it. It has all the options. It's very, very nice. Like I said, 93,000 miles. Everything's like new on the interior. It's a very, very comfortable ride. Luckily, there's nothing wrong in here. I don't have to do any work in here. Everything works great, so I thought I'd let you guys just check it out. And I love this steering wheel. It's really, really cool. Yeah, Car Wizard, they actually even added some nice little decals and added little itty bitty tiny Swedish flags onto their seats. Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. I didn't even see that. Yeah, is that a nice little touch? Look at the way they start the engine. It's not a push button start. You actually turn the knob. Kind of weird. So in the background, it sounds like aliens are landing. It's not, it's actually buses backing up. It sounds like that they can't get their bus is backed in straight. They're having to go do the same rigmarole over and over, and that's the beeping. I apologize for the beeping. The Bentley you guys have been seeing in the shop for a long time. We've actually got some headway on it. We got it running smoother, and we found an intake leak between the Bosch fuel distributor unit and the actual lower intake. It was a really bad intake leak. We've got that off. We're going to get that replaced, and I'm crossing my fingers that the thing finally is done and I can get this out of my shop. So thanks for following along on this really cool car. When Bob brought it, I thought you guys would like to check this out. I haven't had this new of an XC90 in the shop yet. This one's a lot newer than most of the ones I get in the shop, and it is super, super nice. We're going to get these issues we found taken care of, and then he's going to get it on the lot and get it ready for sale. I've actually had a lot of people call me and say, Car Wizard, I'm looking for this car, I'm looking for that car, a special Audi or a certain Mercedes. We're going to put EuroAsian Bob's link in the description below, and you can check his inventory weekly. He's got some of the coolest cars coming and going. They're not everyday common Honda Accords. He does sell those here or there, but he gets the really cool stuff, the hard stuff that you guys have been looking for. That's where you find them, EuroAsian Bob. A lot of people get the misconception that I sell cars and I can find these cars. I don't sell them. I just fix them and get them back on the road for people. But EuroAsian Bob is the guy to check out if you're looking for one of these cars. So again, thanks for watching. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, I'll go ahead and do that now. I really recommend you do that. We've got many more cool car videos and yacht videos to come. Thanks for watching.